Hello and welcome to Audio Tree Live. Today is December 4th, 2017. And on this Monday afternoon, we're excited to have Repeat Repeat with us in the studio. Let's hear some music. You think you read me like a book But you should take a second look now You are so beautiful to me Just like a tapestry Wanna hang you on my wall so much for being here all the way from Tennessee. Yeah, thank We're you for having us. We're excited to have you. We're really happy to be here. So word on the street is that you have not one, not two, but 10 rescue animals that live at home with you in Nashville. Yes, yes. They're awesome. We have uh, all different kinds too. Yeah, so like a parrot. You have a retired racehorse. Yeah, we do. Living like really closely to Kentucky. The, there's tons of racehorses in that area that need second homes after they fail at racing. So we have fortunately a failed racehorse. He's huge and young. Yeah, he failed at racing, but he succeeded in loving. Yes. Yeah. He I gives guess. Kristen hugs, like he wraps his huge head around her and she's so tiny and uh, this huge like creature just like is it's really beautiful to watch i feel like rescue animals they somehow know that they're rescued and because of it they just show you so much more love yeah. it's kind of a special thing yeah. yeah and we have a couple special needs uh, pets also like uh, we have a three-legged lab that we adopted oh. and a little cat that we found we found him as a kitten in the road like in the rain and his back legs stick straight forward like little skis and he just, I don't know what it is about him, but he, it's kind of like you said, uh, he knows he's rescued. He sleeps on Kristen's heart at night. Oh, so, <laughs> so I have to ask that, you know, being on the road, it's one thing to go on tour and be like, hey, can you watch my dog? Right. It's another thing to go on tour and be like, hey, can you watch my small zoo yeah. of pets? So we have basically a set of surrogate parents that step in a couple of friends of ours that is also in a band. Okay. So they, they're called Waterfall Wash and they... They just, they get it, and they have a bunch of pets, too. So we they have someone else watching theirs because we're gone so much. But yeah. when, when we're gone, they just 
step in. And I, I, I honestly think that they have more fun when we're gone because they spoil them and get to yeah. do all the yeah. things that we It's like when the fun like. aunt comes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. exactly. And exactly. also in Nashville, like everybody's a musician. And so a lot of people are out on the road all the time and they have kids, you know, a lot of, you know, sometimes one, two, three plus kids. And at least with our pets, you can come by, you know, for a couple hours a day and then you can put them back in the house and they, they'll just chill and sleep. So I still think it's a little bit easier than like, like having one to find, child. Yeah, like a, yeah. Na- a nanny or something. For you know? sure. Well, it's nice you have a community of people willing yeah. to support you. So yeah. let's uh, hear some more music. Okay. This song, this song is, is called, called Ghost. Ghost. <laughs> ghost so i have to ask do you believe in ghosts yes i do yeah uh actually funny enough we noticed that most of our we started the band when uh right about the time we were getting married and we noticed most of the titles of the songs or the stories behind the songs are related to a lot of things related to her so that song is called ghost but uh like she's a big fan of like ghost tv shows and stuff oh yeah so Which, when I come home and she's like, oh, yeah, I'm I mean, watching. not like ghost hunters or something. Yeah, That's yeah. what I was going to ask like if you're I'm into the. Not really hunting with them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like ghost realtors and stuff. Like there's a ghost in this house or something. <laughs> like on HGTV when yeah. they're like, this might be haunted. Right. Do you also watch HGTV? Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, yes. Do you have a favorite series? I... Do you? Well, is House Hunters International on? Yeah. 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 That's... Okay. Yeah, so we recently became uh, TV in your bedroom people. Oh. Yeah, I fought it for years, and then we did it, and it's amazing. I was going to ask how the transition went. Like, do you feel... Oh, it was very easy. It was very easy. (laughs) It was like, uh, fuck it, let's just do it. Yeah. And we did it after a couple years, and uh, it's amazing. But then you're just like, ah, let's just put on this show. So we put on, like... That and then I'm, you know, it's kind of uh, bittersweet because it's like, oh wow, how cool is that? But then you also remember how, you know, much money you don't have. Yeah. Or, you know, because especially like, the international, you're like, how, how, what do these people do? How are these people doing this? Yeah. 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 They're like, oh, I just, um, you know, I have a little bakery and we're looking to buy a 3.4 million dollar house. You yeah. Know? You're like, f that. You actually have tons of money invested from somewhere yeah exactly yeah. so you know we like we like ghosts we like i think our next song should be called hgtv 
Since we're going with a the theme of things hey, that you like. Hey, I, I like. would love that. Yeah. <laughs> I would definitely listen to that. <laughs> okay. So the songs you've been playing are from your sophomore release, uh, Floral Canyons. Yeah. And you mentioned that a lot of your music is kind of rooted in both the East Coast and West Coast vibe. Mm -hmm. So I have to ask, if you had to pick a coast, which would it be and why? I, you know, I think our sound is obviously very inspired by the West Coast, but we've come up as an East Coast band. Um, that's where we've been touring for the last several years. And I went to college out in California in Santa Barbara and lived out there for a long time. But... Uh, East Coast. Yeah. East Coast. I think East Coast, too. I think there's an element of just, like, um, I don't know. I grew up real close to the West Coast, a couple hours away from San Diego. And uh, while there's a lot of mentality of that in our music and we try to be, like, laid back and fun, um, I think there's an, the spooky element overall, going back to the ghost stuff, yeah. that we like that overlay of things. And so, I don't know, the history behind the buildings and, like, you know, like even today in, in Chicago, it's like windy and kind of dreary. I don't know. There's something about that that we like, like in the influence of our music. Yeah. More so than like flip flops and board shirts. So, you know, and, and all that. It's also been really easy for us to um, accomplish things as a band being on the East Coast because we're so close to Makes total so sense. much. You know, yeah. we can get so many places yeah. cool. easily. Or like maybe the other coast, if it was like, is Seattle or, or Portland, like, semi near that coast? Uh, yeah, it's on that coast. Yeah, <laughs> so, like, near there, just, like, yeah, you know. Well, I say shout out to the East Coast. I like it. I was yeah. expecting you to go West Coast, so it was a nice little surprise there. We'll leave that to, like, Lana Del Rey or something. You know <laughs> Perfect. What I mean? yeah. Let's hear some more music. Okay, this next one is called Everybody's Fallen in Love, and it's about love.
goes in one shot, the other two, they're full beyond the sky. When the roll's caught up in her, that's all got to be in there, friends. God bless you, it's been spoken. It has to come to pass. It will come to pass. People, no one wants to die. No one wants to, to be lost. that you have a place in your van called the Chateau Lobby, which sounds like it could be part of House Hunters International. Yes. It's, it's actually from a Father John Misty song. Yeah. <laughs> I know the, ex yep. yeah. Yeah. We had an old van called the Tomahawk. There's a long story behind that, but we got a new van recently. And uh, I don't know, maybe it's something about having a woman in the band with you, but there's an element of like, we can't just all have like dirty underwear and like beer bottles hanging around. So we wanted to make it nice in there. I'm sure Kristen really appreciates that. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so uh, we put a little couch and bought an ottoman and like a shag rug. Like some shag rug. Holy shit, yeah. this is like probably Curtains. nicer than my apartment. Can I move in? Yeah, yeah. Yes. It's, um, it's uh, you know, it's rent controlled. The so. couch okay. does <laughs> fold out into a bed. And the bed reaches the back doors of the van perfectly. This is in the van that you guys rolled up in? Yes. Yeah, we'll show you afterwards. Yeah. It's really neat. We'll show you, too, maybe, if we can. You really <laughs> maximized your space in that. Yeah, and, and it works out when you play, It's like, from HGTV. <laughs> yeah. Uh, when you go to, like, uh, camping festivals, which we've played a couple, um, it's really nice because we played Firefly in Delaware, and we just pull out the bed yep. and put up the, uh, what are they called? Just tapestries. The old curtain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we have like a little place to camp. So it's great. I feel like, wasn't that a show on um, 
there was some network that had a show called like Pimp My Ride or something. Yes. Yeah. I feel like they should do that for bands on tour. Yeah, like bands at the van level, van yeah. and trailer level. I sh- maybe I should do it. Do you, <laughs> as Kristen and Kristen, we could start. Yes, our that's own it. Show. Yeah, because you were just talking off air about how not busy either of you are. Yeah. Right. You know. <laughs> Neither of us are busy. You have like a Plenty lot of time so much it. just empty free time. It's okay. Everyone needs a side hustle, right? Yeah. yeah. Next thing you know, we're gonna put a flat screen TV in there, and then we'll have TV in multiple beds. <sighs> Related Just to gonna, us, it's gonna Sounds be good. Amazing. Be um, and then, is it true that you have a you have a podcast, right? Yeah, we do. It's called the Repeat Repeat Podcast. Podcast. Say that ten times fast. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's a it's a mouthful, but it's the only thing. If you look up Repeat Repeat Podcast, the other word podcast pops right up. It's great. <laughs> nice. Yeah, uh, it's on iTunes and Stitcher. Um, we took the winter off, and we we we're revamping the podcast and kind of the style uh, for the new year, but that should be coming out in January. But if you want to catch up on some old episodes, we've had guys from bands of horse bands. Band of Horses on there. Again, our Lamar, I don't know if you know who he is. He's awesome. He's blowing up. Um, so, yeah, we just have our friends on. And it's just it's artist interviews primarily? Or yeah, that was like, stuff? yeah, that was the old format, and we played some songs by bands we loved. We're going to incorporate that in the new format, but there's going to be some more, I guess, like um, elements specific to Kristen and I with, with the new format starting in 2018. Sweet. Well, check it out. Podcast or uh, repeat, repeat podcast, podcast. Yeah. Got it. And but. check out the Kristen's Pimp My Van coming out yes. in May 2018. Yeah, yeah. we'll have to. Uh, Who we'll will ha- be next? Yes, we'll have to rethink the name for trademark infringement purposes. Yes. But we'll okay. chat off air. So. Okay. Yes. Perfect. Okay. Let's hear your last song, guys. All right, here it is. It's called Mostly. <laughs>
You're watching Audio Tree Live with Repeat Repeat. Thank you so much for stopping in and sharing your music with us. Thank Love you it. so much. This was seriously a pleasure. We've yeah. always wanted to do this, and uh, it's great to be here. Thank you. Yeah, so next time you come through, will you bring your 10 rescue animals with you? Yeah, I, I really started to, every now and then I'll go, you know, I think Violet would be really fun to bring on the road. Is Violet the horse? No, no. I wish. Lincoln. Maybe what we could do is like a band. Um, what did they ride in the Oregon Trail? Oh, oh the wagon. wagon. <laughs> yeah, and we could have our horse. Oh, yeah. yeah, we could have the horse pull the wagon. You know what? Hire me. I'll drive the wagon with the horse. Great. And then, while we're playing shows, you can revamp vans of the other bands that we're playing with. Perfect. It's kind of like a package deal. Perfect. Thank you for taking me in. Yeah, of course. Yeah, no problem. I yeah. do have to ask the Oregon Trail. Did you, you played that? Oh, yeah. Did you caulk the wagon or float? Ooh. Ooh. I, I think, think I, I died of dysentery really early. Yeah, mm. or snake bite, one yeah. of those. Well, she does this thing when um, I get in bed and I'm like rolling around because there's all these pets in our bed, and so I'm trying to like, get a little bit of covers on <laughs> yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. And she's like half asleep, and she's like, it feels like the Oregon Trail, like I'm in a covered <laughs> wagon right now. It's all bumpy, <laughs> it's like, and you're moving. <laughs> I so, love it. I don't know, yeah. Well, so. I'm glad we can end on the Oregon Trail note. Yes. It's yeah. really important. Yeah. Um, and stay tuned for our new single called HGTV. Yes. It comes out in 20 minutes. It's called HGTV. Awesome. Perfect. <laughs> and then in terms of shows, you can check out um, all your shows coming up at repeatrepeatmusic.com. Yep. And we'd like to thank everyone here in the studio today, the camera and lighting crew for hooking it up, the sound engineers. We would also like to thank all yes. of them. Yes. Yeah. Thank you all. And to you, especially our viewers, you can support the band by downloading the session when it comes out in a few weeks so stay tuned to their social media as well as ours and from all of us here at audio tree we will see you next time thank you thank you very much everybody